Good day. This presentation deals with the impact of an online simulation tool on the understanding of projectile motion in sport. By way of introduction, a projectile is any body or any object that is thrown or launched into the air. Once it has left the ground, it typically follows a parabolic flight path until once more it comes back down to earth. In the sports science context, there are numerous situations involving projectile motion. In particular, all ball games involve projectile motion. Typical games such as football, cricket, netball, tennis, etc. all involve projectile motion. It also applies to all athletic events such as throwing the javelin, throwing the discus, long jump, high jump, even the normal running gait for that matter is an example of projectile motion. The study of projectile motion falls within the realm of biomechanics and kinematics in particular. And in sports science, the focus of projectile motion is to optimize sport performance. It is a fairly complex topic and involves geometry as well as trigonometry and an understanding of acceleration due to gravity. For students who have no prior scholastic exposure to the natural sciences and physics in particular, as well as core mathematics, it can be a challenging topic. The aim of this study was to reflect on the understanding that students have of projectile motion and its concepts as follows. Firstly, before enrolling for a biomechanics module. Secondly, after a standard PowerPoint lecture on the topic. And thirdly, after using an interactive projectile motion simulation tool known as the FET interactive simulation. The methodology employed for this project was the utilization of the FET tool as designed by the STEM uh, Learning Graduate School at the University of Colorado Boulder. The impact of this interactive tool was assessed using a questionnaire survey on Moodle with a range of responses from 1 to 5 in the Likert scale. The participants were Bachelor of Sports Science students doing the undergraduate biomechanics module at level 2 and all respondents gave their written informed consent prior to completing the questionnaire. This particular simulation tool is very useful because it allows the student to experiment with a variety of concepts in projectile motion, namely the influence of gravity, the velocity of projection, the angle of projection, and the height of projection, and the influence that these factors have on the apex, as well as the range of the projectile in a sporting context. Looking at the results, Firstly, considering the understanding of projection velocity, in essence, the greater the magnitude of the projection velocity, the further will be the horizontal distance or range that a projectile can attain. Respondents indicated that the understanding of this concept improved from a rating of 3 after the PowerPoint lecture to a rating of 3.2 after the simulation tool use. However, this improvement was not statistically significant. In the second result slide, we consider projection angle. In essence, the greater the projection angle, such as 60 degrees in this context, the greater will be the vertical displacement or apex that a projectile will attain. And if the projectile lands at the same level from which it is launched, an ideal angle of 45 degrees will give the best range or horizontal displacement. In this respect, students indicated that their knowledge of projection angle in projectile motion increased from a rating of 3.06 after the PowerPoint lecture to a value of 3.25 after using the simulation tool. This improvement in understanding was statistically significant. Thirdly, an understanding of projection level gave us the following result. Fundamentally, the higher the level of projection, 
that a projectile is launched from, the further will be its range, provided a suitable angle of release is attained. Now, in, res in this respect, students indicated a small improvement of their understanding of projection level from a value of 2.92 after the PowerPoint lecture to a value of 2.94 after using the simulation tool. This difference, however, was not statistically significant. Getting to the fourth set of results, dealing with trigonometry in particular. Trigonometry is required in projectile motion calculations in order to determine the horizontal and vertical components of projection from the resultant velocity. In this respect, students indicated a statistically significant improvement in their understanding of trigonometry from a rating of 2.31 to a rating of 3.08, respectively after the PowerPoint presentation and after using the simulation tool. When considering an understanding of gravity in projectile motion, the thesis behind it is, is that gravitational force causes the vertical velocity of a projectile to be consistently eroded until it reaches peak flight or the apex. And then on the down flight, necessarily, there is an increase in the vertical velocity due to the consistent acceleration of the object back down to the earth. Now, in this respect, students indicated the following response. Their knowledge of the influence of gravity on projection improved from 2.67 before enrolling in the module to 3.31 after the PowerPoint. This was a statistically significant increase. And then subsequently, after using the simulation tool, students indicated, again, an improved knowledge of the concept in comparison to the baseline value before enrolling for this particular module. Looking at the understanding of projectional motion overall, looking, of course, at projection speed, projection angle, relative height of projection, and the influence of gravitational acceleration, the following response was found. Students showed a significant improvement in their understanding of the concepts after the PowerPoint compared to before enrolling in the course. And again, in comparison to after using the simulation tool, there was a further increase in their rated knowledge of general understanding of projection in total. This was also a significant increase in their knowledge. In conclusion, there is a good basis for using online simulation tools, and in particular, the Physics Education Technology Projection Motion Simulation Tool is useful in an online or blended approach to teaching and learning. I found that it augmented student knowledge on the topic and enhanced the learning in the context of biomechanics and the STEM domain. Therefore, one can justifiably recommend its use in conjunction with a standard but effective PowerPoint lecture. Thank you.